When do you have like a, I don't know if there's a date or a moment yep. or whatever, when you actually made your decision? Oh, geez. Like, was there like just, it was, it, was it like a revelate? Was it like, like this one moment where it's like, okay, this is it. Or was it oh, my twisting goodness. and turning and sleepless nights? It w- it was it was twisting and turning and sleepless nights. Uh, I had spoken with. Um, I, w- I was going back and forth in New Japan. Um, I had met at the office a number of occasions, and um, finally, when they were were dealing less with me and more with my agent, um, that's when things kind of took a turn because, um, you know, we were starting to talk more like dollar figures and dates and and creative and all that. Um, but yeah, like the, again, like every, every offer on that. And, and this is the thing is like, there was no like clear cut, like winner in, in the negotiation phase where it was like, Oh, this is easy. Like I got to go with this. It was never that because there's always going to be positives and negatives to every scenario. And, uh, I guess I thought the, you know, the most surprising to me was, just how accommodating and and how cool it was to like to discuss you know future with WWE like they were I didn't think they would ever be in the running I was like yeah I'll hear you guys out but I didn't think it'd be good because everyone's telling me well what to expect and uh, it wasn't that whatsoever like it's I, nothing but great things to say about them just in the end AEW was the best thing for me and it, you know it's it's the most exciting choice that I've made in my career I was actually. I remember being uh, signing my first contract in New Japan, and I was nervous because I was like, "Wow, like a two-year contract? That's that's a lot of time. You know, a lot can change." And now, like with with AEW, like I'm signing, you know, four years. That's a four-year deal. Yeah, wow. so it's like I'm wow. signing four years, and and I never, it 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 just felt natural. Like I didn't feel nervous. It it's a, it's a large contract for me, the largest one that I've signed, but uh, I didn't I didn't feel like I was making the wrong choice. So it it was it was a it was cool to feel that way. And uh, and the cool part too is like, with the contract, it leaves me very open for a ton of crossover potential, which is always the most important thing for me because I, I don't necessarily want to be remembered for what I do in the ring. You know, I want to be able to cross over into all different kinds of media. So I'm going to be able to do my stuff with with esports, and I'm going to be able to do all types of stuff with uh, ESPN and all that, and you know, some acting stuff, and you know, the documentary even. It's just like these opportunities now, you know, there's no red tape. It's just, it's in my contract where I can freely do those and pursue them, which is great. That is really good. That's, yeah. that's, that's yeah. So, um, you know, one of the things that I'm sure everybody wants to know, yeah. and, and it's, it's probably a question that at this on today, you probably don't have a great answer for, Sure. but, um, new Japan pro wrestling. I mean like, okay, your yeah. last match was January the 4th. Yes. Um, I know AEW would like to work with New Japan. Obviously, the Madison Square Garden thing with Ring of Honor, that's kind of the politics of wrestling. Right. Um, mentally, I mean, do you, ex- are, are you, can you go to New Japan? Is it, would you have to go through AEW? And are you, would you be excited to go? Do you want the New Japan guys here since you obviously right. are going to have some power in, in that decision making? I have. I have it specifically written in my contract. And again, like this is something I couldn't have done on the WWE end of things, but I have it specifically written in my contract that I can go anytime I want and appear for new Japan pro wrestling. Okay. So that it's, it's a, it's a question of, I mean, it goes both ways, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I can't, I can't just uh, yell at a, a woman or a man on the street. Hey, you know, I love you. You want to marry me? <laughs> Does it doesn't mean they will. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, <laughs> but this is a case where yeah, I've I've made sure that that has been written in, and I do have the freedom to appear there. And of course, and of of course, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, I lost my train of thought completely. We were talking yeah. about New Japan Pro Wrestling, right? Um, and appearing for them. Um, yeah, I ju- I just hope that uh, I-, I hope that my last match in in. Japan wasn't the match against Tanashi. If it, if so, I mean, it was a great way to go out. I was really proud of the match, but um, yeah, I feel like there's still there's still a little more for me to do there. And I think that if if after coming back, um, doing the AEW thing after a little while, I, I think maybe it could even be better for me. And uh, of course, yeah. of course, like doors always open. Not only just for for New Japan, for everybody. We want to work with all of the best talent in the world. And, um, of course, first and foremost, you know, we have ties to new Japan, you know, myself, 
I've worked there for a number of years. The Bucks have worked there for a number of years. And, um, you know, we, we don't just forget about where we came from. You know, we, we'll, we'll always have a place for the guys that do want to come down and, and, and help us have fun.